Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're still right next to the USS Constitution where we left off last time and we're still helping uh, Captain Ironsides over there to uh, get this ship off the ground. And uh, that's exactly what we're gonna, gonna continue doing today. So for that we still need to buy a power relay coil if I got that correctly. So that means we need to jump down and go past the scavenger hideout here again. So we can talk to uh, the seals woman. Aha! And the woman that supposedly will sell us this power relay core or man is of course at Bunker Hill. So it's Bunker Hill, not Monument Point. I'm kind of confused the two every time because, I mean, it's a point with a monument on it. There we go, it is a woman. Hello, a uh, Deb. I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. Well, I am carrying a lot of stuff, so let's barter. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything is sold as is. There's a giant echo in this place, but let's do some bartering. First, of course, the power relay coil, and not core, as I continuously said, so sorry about that. And there we go, offloaded a few of my things, and I also sold the uh, exterminator's gamma gun. So that should be enough to go back to the USS Constitution and finish up those quests. Hi, Captain! Captain, I found your things! I found all your things, Captain! I'm coming to bring it to you! So, inside of the ship, we can actually use that power relay coil to fix this. There we go, install the new power relay coil. You shut down the power and insert the new power relay coil. You then cycle the power back on. Now the power is steady throughout the ship. Okay. So that's good. So now we need to talk to Boson, who's supposed to, yeah, over here at the end of the of this deck. The uh, second deck from the top. And steady. I would applaud you, but alas, I cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, madam. Huzzah. I'm gonna use that from now on. I would clap, but I'm not I'm not able to because of my lack of clapping instruments. <laughs> well, you're very welcome, Boson. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Okay, but I think Mr. Navigator is back outside, I think, unless... I don't have a secondary marker putting me back outside, but here we go. Captain Ironsides and, you know, Iron Bottom, Top, Front and Back. Just ev everything seems to be Iron. Oh, okay, but... Wait, I did fix your power. Oh, wait. What's this? Core guidance system activate. Wait, I probably shouldn't do that just yet, right? So yeah, the guidance chip, we don't need to talk to Mr. Navigator again because we can just install the guidance chip because that's what we wanted to do for Mr. Navigator. So let's install that. There we go. Seems that that did that we want what we wanted to do. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need to talk to the Navigator again. He's, wait. Oh no, nope, never mind, he's here now. Hello. Recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is non-functional. Requires replacement. Okay, and where will I find that? What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy is available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, madam. Okay, repair or replace the Poseidon Raider transmitter. And it's... Oh, it's this thing over here. Probably can't... Yeah, the only broken component is a burned out Poseidon Raider transmitter. It's a rare part that's only used in Poseidon facilities. A master repairman may be able to repair the dead transmitter. But I'm not. So... That means we technically should go down again, but I think if I just jump out... Let's jump out. Does, doesn't this count as me? Yes, now we got a new, a new indicator. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna check the map how far away this actually is. Okay. Oh! Oh! This is a cool elevator, that's great. 
Thanks, Captain, for the backup. So I can get back up through this little boat. Cool, cool. Let's check the map. It's actually not that far away. I need to cross the bridge again and then continue heading west. And then we can get the Poseidon, the Poseidon radar transmitter, so... Seems, seems pretty straightforward. Let's just get our trusty laser pistol in hand. And start heading our way west. I'm walking around the water and I hear splashing noises behind me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, gonna have to be a bit careful. I feel like this might also be pretty close to where the, uh, the quest for the other Brotherhood of Steel recon team actually ends. Which is interesting that we now approach this from the entire opposite end of the area. I am detected. Don't know by what, but I am detected. Well, as long as it doesn't change to that, and that's buzzing. I don't like buzzing. Buzzing indicates nasty bugs, like a blood bug hatchling, like that one. Yeah, it's exactly like that one. So let's just shoot it in the face. But whether that thing has a face or not, I don't know. That, that Yeah, that's that. I'm not going to grab any meat of that. I don't like eating giant mosquito meat. And of course, Poseidon means water. So this seems to be... Is this the other side of the water treatment plant? No, I think we're on the other side of the map at the moment. So what exactly is this area supposed to be? And Poseidon Energy Turbine. Now we level up. There we go. Uh, but before we, we do anything with that, we go into caution. Oh my god, the legendary rad roach. I'm just going to shoot it with a pistol. There we go. That's a, a free and easy... I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this thing, I'm, ow. I knew I was gonna miss that. With my legendary aiming, I always miss. There we go, legendary, legendary. Rat powered leather right, oh god. Black bloat flies. Uh, one, one, two. There we go, and then the other one, please hit it. I'm getting hit already, and that's poison, oh god. There we go. I'm still a bit poisoned, but it doesn't seem to impact my health as much as the... Uh, remember the festering bloatfly? Grants additional strength the higher your rads. Interesting, I'm gonna take it. But, uh, ooh, yeah, the, the bloatfly gland, I needed that, right? And the meat, I'm gonna take that as well. Don't know why one has double the meat and the other doesn't. I hate bugs. I really hate bugs. And I'm absolutely positive that Louise also hates bugs from the bottom of her gut. Hi. There's a rat roach in my face. Anything else? I'm definitely still in danger. Okay. There's one moving over there. Okay, so that's where the uh, component is supposed to be. Are we going to be able to just navigate our way towards that? Because it doesn't look like it's easily accessible. There's water in the way. And I can't judge how, how you know, how deep this is. Huh! Oh, God. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Get out of the water, you Louise. There we go. Oh, there was another one. Long live vats! I do love vats. It's a really, really cool mechanic. And then the Poseidon radar tr transmitter. There we go, it doesn't weigh anything. And we got plasma cartridges. I can't really do anything with that, but plasma grenades. That is always nice. And a glow sighted heavy combat rifle. Not taking that just yet. Uh, if I come across a legendary variant of that, that would be nice. But for now. I'm not going to use combat rifles. Come on. Come on, move, Louise. Lou, it's some, for some reason, it's really hard to move in that water. But with the transmitter in our possession, we can just make our way back to... Oh, I forgot about the rat roach meat over here. Make our way back to uh, the USS Constitution and give all of that... Oh, God, no. I'm just going to... Um... Um... That's two of them, right? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna... I can, I can leave, right? Um, um, 
Um, um, um. Get out of the way! I left the bottle cap mine. Oh god, where did I go? This isn't good. This is their domain. Uh, it went off, but... Oh, this is bad. This doesn't look good. Ow, they're spitting at me from across the... That other one is almost dead, which is good. Um, shell, torso... Whatever that's supposed to be. The head. Um, yeah, that doesn't do much, does it? Let's go inside. Ooh, yeah, because they, they do poison damage. They do poison damage. Can they get up here? Oh, for fuck's sake. That was a surprise. Hmm. So that one's down. But the other one clearly isn't. I should heal. I should definitely heal. You know what? Where's the Galox pistol? Ow, ow, ow. I need to be careful because if that thing, yeah, because that poison damage ticks along rather nicely. Um, shell, not shell, head. There we go. That's a critical. I keep missing it. I need a, one or two more shots, but. That was a hit. Now we dodge that. And then the final one. There we go. It did get a shot off still. Okay. Well, that was a nasty surprise. I should have kept that camera gun. Um, but yeah, that's gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is just not... That is just not something that should be alive. That is just not something that should be alive. That was horrifying. I first thought that we're going to be, um, you know, rat scorpions, but this is just as bad, if not worse. Um, let's go back with this thing. Are there any more surprises that are going to pop up? That was nasty. And it kind of reflects uh, how uh, bad I'm doing damage-wise, because that took me uh, a bunch of resources to get through that. So hopefully we don't bump into any anything else like that but uh, we definitely need to start looking for replacements or either upgrades to our weapons because this is not gonna cut it luckily my power armor is uh, doing its job rather well that i survived that but of course poison damage doesn't uh well the armor doesn't block poison damage because of course poison is something that affects the body itself so once you get poisoned it takes away what well, it ignores the armor completely so it just hits your health bar which is why i die to it so quickly most of the time especially if it's one of those bigger uh, bigger insects that poisons me because the effect is a lot larger as well three weight rounds and a fragmentation mine I'm just gonna take that Patrolling. uh and then we can talk to iron sides again oh no i think i could just install it right yes let's just put it right on top of this dish let's install that you remove the burned out radar transmitter and replace it with the new one you found. After a moment, let's flick it to life and the radar system reports it is fully operational. Okay, Mr. Ahoy, Navigator. Soldier. Hello. Agent system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, madam. Okay, then I will do just that, good sir. Let's talk to Captain oh, Ironsides. No. Hello, Prince Captain, my captain. Despite ample provocation, I had hoped the guidance chip could be recovered without violence to the scavengers. Even now, they plot their retaliation. I'm, I mean, they, they're all dead. I would have spared them if I could have. I have no doubt that they made a peaceful resolution impossible. But you did your duty and did it well. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. Okay, I'm happy to help. I'm always happy to help. I would expect nothing less. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. I should probably take a nap before I do that, because if I get ambushed by something similar again, I might die and I... Yeah, the, this this place is still still has a perfect bed, so let's just jump down very stylishly. There we go, with a nice tump. 
and then take another nap. There we go, up and about in the daylight. I'm just gonna grab my two weapons here back and I need to actually equip those again because for some reason they sometimes get removed from my quick select and sometimes they don't if I just discard them into the box. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm hugging the wall, but there we go, out of the window, as you do. Aha, uh -huh. the next part of the quest is actually quite a ways off. So what I'm gonna do, because it's way too far for, for us to do now, um, we're gonna have to finish this sometime later, but we can go to Cabot House now. So let's place a marker over there and make our way to that. And on the way, I can't forget that I still have a level up, so we're gonna check that out as well with some fancy music. And then we need to select another perk. I think I'm gonna go with Rifleman 3 next. So attacks with non-automatic rifles now do 60% more damage and ignore 20% of a target's armor. So that includes shotguns, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we're currently actually using that more and more. If we can boost up the damage of Righteous Authority as well, that might also help. Because uh, those shots will still do a lot more damage if we can pull a critical off with this. But still need to be careful, we're heading back into Boston itself. So uh, the monsters will start crawling out of the woodworks again, I think. Yeah, there we go. Private property, no trespassing. So I need to be careful because I think there's actually a, a sentry bolt. Yeah. Taking a look at this. Hello. Hello. Can I talk to you? Authorized personnel only. But Stay I off the grass. Okay, but I, he sounded really melodious there. I think I can actually uh, call. Hello? Intercom? Go away. Wait, I was invited here. Um, I'm, I'm expected. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. All right, at least I got us through the front door. There we go. Let's go meet the boss. Hello, Edward. Sounds good. Sounds good. And and he hello to you too. Can I can I actually move? Hello, boss. Where's the boss, Edward? I'm following you. This looks fancy. I know about this quest, but I rarely even check Jack, this out. The new gal is here. One moment. One moment. I just have to. He just blew up. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh damn! Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Hello, Mr. Cabot. Um, please, please, uh, I'm just, can I talk to you just face to face? Because like this is not going to work. Please to meet nice you. To meet you Jack. Oh, where I'm the hell did my head go? You. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Okay, are we going up or because I... Have a seat. I lost, I lost my face. I can't have a seat because I'm, I'm in power armor. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Hello. Is this really the time Don't for... Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Well, since we saw an alien crash land just last episode, uh, yes. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Um, oh, uh, oh, okay. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. 
We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Okay, you're officially hired. So that's what makes this mission so interesting. So it's one of the first times that one of the characters actually talks about civilizations before us in the Fallout universe. So we're talking about a civilization that's older than humanity itself and somehow left weird weapons. I don't know what the game is doing right now because it's still following Jack Abbott as if I'm talking to yeah. him. Take your time. But I'm talking to Edward, so let's get to work. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Well, we were heading there eventually anyway, because there's an interesting bobblehead over there, so lots of questions. Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you, it's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Uh, I think we are. I'm out of here. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Uh, uh we, we won't. I'm, I'm glad, glad we can help. So that means we now get a free pass into the Parsons Insane Asylum. And we can unlock the... Apparently the door was locked behind us. And now we have a key. So that's good. So we got, I think we can even access most of the rooms in the house now. Ooh, it is actually further to the north than I anticipated. Um, I think it's then best we first go to the turbo pump, then move back to the USS Constitution, and then move our way north. Uh, that's probably definitely going to be in the next episode. So let's start moving south. We'll see if we get to the turbo pump by the end of this. But uh, yeah, if we find anything interesting along the way, we'll uh, check that out as well. We actually, actually never checked it out, but the new sniper rifle like gold is actually equipped with night vision. Which is interesting. Because of course that means that we can snipe even at night. And I think that's an enemy. He's running. Or she's running. That's definitely a she. Um, I'm just gonna pop her in the head. Yeah. There we go. Uh, there's also a turret over there. That blows up as well. No, no. Oh god. Hello, hello, hello. There's your head. Okay, 84% chance just missed. Ooh, there's more where that came from. And then we can just do a critical to her head. I'm completely missing her here. Hi. Goodbye. Is that the last of them? No, definitely not. I need, I need to heal. And I lost one of my arms, almost. I'm definitely not approaching this carefully. So I should probably uh, tone it down a little bit. I'm not immortal in this uh, power armor. So there's a waster. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting him. I'm definitely hitting... Get over here, you... Dick, what is he doing? Why is he running away? Get over here. Play, huh? Yes. Ow. Damn you. That was a, a heavy hitter. 50 caliber with, ooh, pocketed reinforced combat armor chest piece. That's actually not bad. I'm just gonna grab that along with me. I think I can carry it still. And now we can continue on towards the south. Ooh, straight into super mutant territory. Usually not a good idea to take these guys off, but I mean, we're still, we're going along rather nicely. And that guy loses his head, so that's, that's fine. Anyone else? There they are. And that's, is that a, is that guy sitting? I've never seen, I can't remember seeing a sitting super mutant, but there he is. There, and there he lost his head. I see a skirmisher on my radar, but 
Ah, there he is. Is that the guy with the rocket? No. I can hit the head, but I don't have a, a critical. Oh, he has a rocket launcher. Definitely has a rocket launcher. That's definitely the guy with the rocket launcher. Can go as well. There we go. No, no, you won't fight. Oh, 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 that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. No, no, the other one. The other one. Get out. Just far away. And then... Yeah, the right arm. Just kill it. There we go. There we go. So that's a suicider. That's a super mutant that decides that his role in life is going to be carrying a, a nuke underneath his arm. Nuclear material, yeah. Definitely. And there was one behind him as well, but I think the guy with the rocket launcher is still alive. There it goes. There his head goes. Okay. This sniper rifle is actually pretty good. I can one-shot most of them from stealth. Which is really good. So that's... With that, I can actually continue south for Neuhaul. If that's how you need to pronounce that. Oh, there's another one in the back here. There he goes. Whew. Don't know how he didn't see me. Probably because it was... Uh, there's something wrong with the textures, by the way. Because there's blue walls all over the place that shouldn't be blue. And the frame rate is also slowly dying. So I'm hoping I'm getting out alive here. Wait, what's that? That claw meat. Yep, it was. It was. And I hear a vertebrate as well. Stuff is happening. Wait, I'm just gonna move towards the water so I can actually see what's happening. I don't want to get ambushed. We're actually pretty close to the Pridwin as well now. But on the other side of the water. Oh, wait. What the hell? Is that a rat? Yeah, a rat stag. But the male version. And he's... Wait, what is he? What is this? He's just sliding across the floor. Hello. Okay. And something exploded. This is really nice, isn't it? Wait, we're actually really close to the railroad as well, if I recall correct. Yeah, the textures are definitely dying. And that's probably the rat, rat stack that detected me. This is... The game is not, not doing well. The game is definitely not doing well. Hello! Wait, you look like you're in for a fight. Are you in for a fight? Because I, I can I can use the meat if you want me to fight. If you want me to fight, I, I'm, I'm happy to shoot you in the face. Are you looking for trouble, Mr. Radstag? Because I can provide trouble if you want to. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of explosions going on over there. I'm just going to leave them to their own devices. There we go. Laser pistol. I feel like the combat shotgun doesn't really do much damage. The shotgun isn't really up to snuff. Yeah, the textures are really... There's something really bad going on with the game at the moment. But we're still moving south, so that means progress. Progress, and as long as I don't die a horrific death, this should be fine. Okay, I don't remember this. It seems like probably another raider camp. Yeah, definitely. Aha, oh, no. uh -huh, hi. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, that's actually a lot of experience. Oh, God. Oh, they're super, super, super mutants. I uh, still have a lot, a few grenades. Might as well. Oh, hi. Okay, he went down in one shot. So that was probably just a normal raider. And then this guy can go to a critical shot to the face. Fusion core removed. Okay, that's fine. I've been spending a lot of action points. Wait, what the f... Okay. That guy was almost dead, apparently. They must have fought each other then. And I'm still in danger, so... Judging from the voices, they were at least... Ow, that's... Definitely something with a minigun. Oh. Oh, hello. Where are you firing from? You know what? Try this out. I hit him, but he's not... Hello? There we go. That was quite a bit of experience for just a normal hit. 
uh, more missiles, but sniper rifle ammo is always nice. And then we have, yeah, definitely a minigun. That's a normal minigun. Yao Guai meat, bear meat. Might as well take it with me as well. There's a lot of dead super mutants over here. Uh, and another grenade. Really like that. Ooh, and a sleeping bag. I'm really hesitating what I should do. But I should push on. I think I have a little bit of time. Maybe one more location before we call the wraps. The shamrock. The shamrock tea house. Or is, does that say tea house? Tap house. Tap house. That sounds nice. Just gonna grab the, the ammo of this guy. Um, and then, ooh. Is that one of the guys I blew up? Must have been. He has probably seen better days. Oh, dear. I'm just gonna... There's a, there's a Mylurk there. We, but in this case, we saw the hunter first. Before the actual... Oh, crap. I did saw that for a... I did see that for a minute. There's a freaking... Yeah, that thing. Oh god, uh, it's a razor claw, but I think I can... I should probably get out of stealth. Um, um, legs! Let's just shoot it in the legs a lot. Oh, it evolved. And now the, f the, the face, the face, can, can we get the face? Can we get the face? Not the shell, the face! Oh, there, there, there was that. That, 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 that. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Um, just move backwards. As long as there's no wall behind me, I'm fine. Get away. Get away, get away, get away now. Get away, get away. There we go. Oh, gold. Oh, and there's the other one. There it goes. Luckily, I have... Well, I finally got back under the 1000 fusion cell count. Duelist's metal chest piece. That's gonna be crap, isn't it? Yeah, 10% chance to disarm a melee attacker. Well then. Could have been better. I could have died as well, so it could have been definitely been worse as well. Yeah, we're heavy on the Mirelurks this episode. Don't immediately see a bed outside, but we can enter the tap house. I'm definitely gonna do that. Is we, do we use any of that ammo? No. No, no, we're definitely not gonna drag along a cooking pot this time. Um, so let's enter the tap house. Okay. So it's lined with cans. So I'm assuming there's gonna be enemies in here. This actually looks pretty cool. It looks a bit l bigger than it looks on the outside. The hell? So there's a cooking station. That's already good. And this seems to be bigger than it looks. And for some reason... They're only giving me half a share. This outfit's way worse than the last one. Uh... Hi. So there was one guy hiding in the back there. Oh god. I triggered a trap in their own... They, they booby trapped their own bar again. Hello there. Oh god. Yeah, I kind of missed that one, didn't I? Double shot. Oh. Did, did he throw something at me? Or Wait, uh, that's the SARM. This and this, and then fire at this guy's face. There we go. Anybody else? Because it suddenly got really quiet. Anybody in the toilet, maybe? That's Gaff. Gaff seems to... Okay, seems... I'm just gonna toss a few grenades up there. There we go. I'll give you what? A little bit of fatigue. The water is setting in. Um, but... Oh, hi Gaff! You're back for more? I mean, he's marked as a as a, a skull, but I feel like I can take... I'm gonna... Are, are we seriously doing this? 
Fuck you. I think I decapitated him after he was dead. I shot once too many. And that seems to be it, right? So, I had a bit of trouble uh, reloading Kellogg's pistol there, but uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's all there again. Ooh, a 50 caliber hunting rifle. You don't see those often in the wild. There is a final trunk here. Uh, but nothing really interesting. But, ooh. The Shamrock Tap House Key. Okay, that's good. 50 cal, tactical document. Maybe I should start grabbing those 50 cals. And they tried opening up the safe, but they had the key, so that's a bit weird. Plasma mine. Ooh, otherwise I can leave the rest there. But that was nice. Plasma mines are always nice. Then, the big question. Is there a bed? They're, they're actually hooking up electricity in this place. And, oh. Oh. That's a bit gruesome. But the brackets are still shuffling, actually. That usually means there's still somebody alive in here. I don't know why I took the 10mm rounds. I did it again, I know. There's definitely still somebody alive. And there's a bunch of freaky mannequins. Ooh. This goes... This goes pretty deep. What the hell is this? Is there anybody here? I killed Gaff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. I jumped because of that. Um, I'm just going to kill that one with a shot. And then the glowing mole rat can go with a few headshots. If I can hit him. Oh, God. I think he exploded. Hello. Um... Are you ready to die now? Because a rabbit as a rabbit mole rat actually has poison, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. Mole rat, no. Mole rat, no. Mole rat, nice. Mole rat, stay. We can check out Patrick's terminal. Now, is it just me, or I? I mean, I haven't seen a Patrick yet. So Patrick might be the reason why my brackets are still shuffling. What the hell is that, by the way? Ooh, that's a bot that gives out drinks. Wait, there's a quest tied to this guy, right? That is cool. So I got here a bit early, but uh, Patrick's terminal. Okay, so it just uh, gives you the notes on the creation of the drinking buddy, which is probably that, uh, well, that guy in the back there. Can I actually open that up? It's expert locked, so no, I can't, because I'm. Louise hasn't invested in hacking. Not in hacking and not in uh, lock picking. And then there's this, like, bunkery door. Might actually be the. Oh, God! Uh, hi. And. Uh, hi. There we go. And uh, there we go. Okay. Giant rat roach. Nothing to be scared of. Berserker's meat hook. Well, that would would have been cool. Does more damage to lower your armor resistance. <laughs> would have been cool in the, the no guns playthrough, but right now this seems a bit uh, useless. Uh, but this doesn't. It's like some food and especially those two Nuka Cola Quantums will come in handy. So last thing we haven't checked out in here yet is the staircase in the back. Should probably check for traps, but um, I mean, I blew up a few times already. And this unlocks to the waterfront. Okay, let's check that out really quickly. And that apparently just leads to the back of the building. Um, I don't know if I have access to anything in particular here. Because it even I can't even turn back if I use that ramp over here. So I think with that, I'm going to actually take a, a little nap in the Shamrock Tap House and take a little break. But before we do that, we have another skill point perk to select. So uh, we're now at level 23. I don't know if that unlocks anything extra for critical bank and stuff like that. That's only at level 40. So I think it's high time we put another point into intelligence, which leaves us the bobblehead away from science. Science we're going to need, as along with local leader as well. But local leader will get soon uh, too, because we're going to get that bobblehead in one of the next episodes as well. So let's put one more point into intelligence. 
But with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of Fallout for Survival. And uh, after we've uh, napped a bit, took a little nap in the uh, Shamrock Tap House over there, we're going to take, uh, we're going to continue on our way to the south, to the Pump House. We can finally finish off the USS Constitution quest. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode of Fallout 4 Survival. Goodbye.